what's going on. Um, look, check this out. You ever hear somebody say that some people shouldn't have kids? Well, in this next thing that I'm about to show you, I guess maybe that's why people say that. Uh, because what this lady did, I mean, it's, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's not unbelievable because stuff like this does happen, but it just always just kind of makes you wonder and ask the question, like, what the hell were they thinking? So let's check this one out. A mobile mother is behind bars in Metro after sheriff's deputies say they found guns and almost half a million dollars worth of cocaine. But investigators say that's just the beginning. Our Dacian Smith is in the studio tonight with more on this story. Dacian, you're told children were put in danger. That's right. The sheriff says when deputies got to the woman's house, one of her children was actually wearing a backpack full of cocaine. And that's why they hope she stays in jail for a while. Several kilos of cocaine are now off the street after deputies say a mobile mother put her four children in serious danger. Investigators say this all started when the sheriff's office received a tip about 35 year old Tierra Hill having a large amount of cocaine at her house on Harvey Court. Sheriff Paul Burt says she was seen leaving the house on Saturday but was caught soon after. You know, they received some information that she may be delivering some cocaine. There was a traffic stop conducted where you know she was ultimately found to be in possession of about a, a pound or a kilo and a half of cocaine along with a firearm. But that was just the beginning. When investigators searched the house, they say they found Hill's four children, ages three to 15 years old. They say the three-year-old was wearing a backpack with around two kilos of cocaine in it. The sheriff says they also found another backpack with one kilo of cocaine and two handguns nearby. There are a lot of possibilities that could have occurred had the children, number one, ingested any of the cocaine or been exposed to it. You know, and then you've got these young children, you know, have handguns within their reach as well. MCSO says all of the cocaine is worth around $450,000. Jail records show Hill has been in and out of Metro Jail almost 10 times in the last few years, and they hope she won't be going anywhere soon. It's just alarming to me that a mother would allow their children to be exposed to these type of things. You know, she has to see a judge before a bond is set. You know, but, you know, my, my two cents is she ought to sit her butt in jail until she goes to trial. I mean, she subjected those children to some extremely dangerous situations. At last check, Hill remains in Metro Jail and faces multiple charges, including trafficking cocaine and four counts of chemical endangerment of a child. Live in studio, Dacian Smith. Yeah, so, yeah, that, I mean, that's dangerous, reckless, um, irresponsible. And, yeah, I get it. Every, everybody makes mistakes, but this, this wasn't a mistake, right? And, and the sad part is that the kids, they're caught up in this situation, uh, a situation that their mother created and, and a situation that they didn't have a choice in the, uh, the matter, um, and yeah, she put those kids in, 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 in a dangerous position. And I'm not just talking about, you know, what the sheriff, you know, was saying about how one of the kids could have ingested the drugs. I mean, when I think about the danger aspect of this situation, I'm thinking more uh, more along the lines of somebody using the children to get to her and those drugs. Because like we all know, drugs and violence, they go hand in hand. And, and when people are involved in that lifestyle, uh, they don't they don't care about hurting you or your family and somebody tipped off the cops. So if that person that tipped off the cops, if they knew about what was going on in that house, you got to believe that other people with ill intentions, they knew about it as well. So what if the cops didn't show up, you know, because, I mean, you got to remember that she got pulled over in her car after leaving her home and the kids were left at the house by themselves with drugs and guns just lying all around the house and with this type of stuff she was bound to make some enemies if she already hasn't made enemies so the potent, uh, the potential for things like um home invasions uh robberies uh, shootings i mean all that goes up you know so your 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 uh your chances of being harmed you know they they increase but thankfully that didn't happen um and now the question is, what happens to the children? So I'm thinking best case scenario, I think, would be that the children are placed in the care of a responsible uh, family member versus being caught up in the foster care system. And if they are placed with a responsible family member, um, 
maybe they can tell the children that, you know, this wasn't their fault um, and, and, and what their mother did wasn't okay and, and that this this whole situation isn't normal. And, um, yeah, I mean, because, I mean, these kids now, they're going to be shook up about this whole thing. And it, they're going to be shook up probably for a long time, you know, after seeing their mother get arrested and the police all in their homes. Um it's, I don't know, man, people just got to start making better decisions and, and learn that their decisions doesn't just affect them, especially if they got kids, because with Tierra Hill, she's now going to, you know, be going to prison and she's not going to be there to raise her children and to raise them properly because of this selfish decision that she made. And this is going to be a hard lesson for her to learn. And hopefully she learns from this and maybe whenever she gets out of prison, Maybe she learns from this and doesn't go back to doing the same thing that got her in this situation in the first place. So just my thoughts about it. Um, got, got to make better choices, make better decisions and all that stuff. So take care, stay safe, and uh, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.